Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video, Sonic Queso Raps Review. Southwest, Crunch, and Bacon Ranch. Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded this past Saturday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize. I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Good old Sonic America's Drive-In is bringing back their crispy tender wraps for summertime, and this time they're launching two brand new flavors that are apparently laced with plenty of cheesy goodness. Wow. That's right, everyone, so sit tight because I'm after hours cheaters cam style to go in on their all-new queso wraps. Both wow. of them, actually. As always, I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Wow. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Well, I gotta say, these are minutes old, but these are not exactly looking the freshest, guys. Hopefully, this is gonna stay focused for you as I bring you on in over here. But what we've got here are the two queso wraps, and it's gonna have a little trouble focusing because it's so contrasty with this white tortilla. Let me break these on down for you fully before we get right into them, though. Okay. All right, so the queso wraps here at Sonic America's Drive-In, and these are already starting off okay in the pricing department, guys. I mean, $1.99 from what I've got here, considering it looks like it's mostly tortilla. Let's start off with this one on the left here, and what this is supposed to be is the Southwest Crunch Queso Wrap, and it consists of a warm flour tortilla, a crispy all-white meat chicken tender, and I gotta say that's filling out this flour tortilla pretty nicely. We've got creamy Southwest sauce, tortilla chips, melted cheddar cheese, and creamy white queso. So this one looks like it's checking off all those boxes there, and as you can see, it's definitely Definitely a saucy situation. I'm just thankful that this chicken tender is filling out this tortilla pretty nicely. So this one is not looking too bad for what it is. Wow. As we swing over to the right, we've got the bacon ranch queso wrap. And in this case, inside the warm flour tortilla, we've got a crispy all white meat chicken tender. But in this case, it looks like a nugget. Where is the other half of this tender? Man, that man, is man, not man. cool at man. all. Wow, that is crazy. Well, we've man, got some man. crispy bacon, which looks a little on the overcooked side. It's kind of black, man. actually, in some places. We've got some melted cheddar cheese creamy ranch and creamy white queso but guys where is the chicken on the inside of this Good how do you question. put a nugget on the inside of a flour tortilla and think this is okay clearly Good there's question. a major difference compared to the other one but what are you gonna do a buck 99 it is what it is yeah so that's it for that one but let's just see if the flavor delivers on these guys these are the all-new queso wraps the bacon ranch and the southwest crunch over here at sonic america's drive-in let's peep out this flavor right yeah, it's super contrasty, so I'm going to have to try my best with this one here, guys. But as you can see, I'm going to start off with the Southwest Crunch because that one looks a little bit more appealing overall. So looking yeah, pretty good already with the tortilla man. chips on the inside. Let's give this one a go real fast. Wow. I mean, this one looks like it's worth the price point of a buck ninety nine because it's filling out the tortilla pretty nicely, even though I have it kind of wrapped pretty tightly here. This is full of chicken, which I really can't say for the other one, but we'll get to that. So let's give yeah. the Southwest Crunch a shot. Here we go. Let's peep this out. <laughs> Well, it's hearty. Those tortilla chips are pretty nice. It's kind of seasoned. Wow. Mm. All I'm really getting out of that first bite is a pretty decently seasoned chicken tender and, of course, the tortilla chips on the inside. I didn't really get any of the Southwest sauce or the queso or oh, the melted nice. cheddar. Let's just keep going in, guys. I think I'm going to get it with this next bite. Let's hit it. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Now we got some queso. That's pretty good. Wow. Mm. It's pretty good with the tortilla chips as well. I bet it is. Got a little Tex-Mex flair. A little seasoning action. It's not bad. Wow. Well, once you get to it, that queso is pretty nice, and the Southwest sauce is giving a little bit of sizzle, just a little bit there, but the saltiness of the tortilla chips, and I have to say the overall chicken tender, it's a pretty nice situation along with the melted cheddar. So this is actually a very nice variation of it, and I got to say, for $1.99, this one does feel kind of substantial. Not too bad wow. for this one here. Wow. And you know what, now that I think about it, maybe I should have started off with the bacon ranch variant because I have a feeling I'm going to be very disappointed since this one is very, very tasty. So I technically should have saved the best for last because this one seems like it has got a lot more going on with it. Right. But for this one, right. let's just say I am a little underwhelmed as I'm trying to keep the focus on this here for you there. It'll get better as we go, but right. let's give this a shot. Right. That chicken leaves a lot to be desired. I have a feeling I'm going to almost take this out in one bite considering this is all bacon and the ranch and it's the regular queso actions. So it's flavorful nonetheless, but still the chicken, it's missing on this. This already doesn't feel like $1.99. Let's keep going in on that, you guys. Here we go. The bacon ranch variant. Let's peep this out. Okay. 
Mm. Bacon's not bad, though. Wow. A little overcooked. I mean, kind of burnt, but it's guaranteed crispy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is what it yeah. is. And wow. It's flavorful. Not bad. Wow. The saltiness is equaling flavor naturally. All right. But like the Southwest Crunch, I wasn't getting any of the queso action or the ranch really with that. It was mostly bacon oh and, of course, a little bit of the chicken tender action, as you can see right there. So it is what it is. Let's go for another bite. I'm sure I'm going to get the queso because I can see it right here. Let's continue peeping this out. Okay. Mm. There goes most of chicken. This is all tortilla. Oh. But there's the queso, oh. though. That's not bad. The queso and the bacon, I can see that with an egg situation, that'd be pretty good. Wow. Yeah, this one's going to have a little trouble staying focused, guys, but I got to say quickly here, the bacon is very smoky. It's got a really nice, rich, deep flavor. I just wish there was more of the chicken to go with, and naturally with the queso action, not a bad situation with this one, along with the tartness of the ranch, which admittedly, I wish I had a little bit more of. So, flavor-wise, this one's got wow. potential. It Sorry, everybody. I had to crack my neck. Sorry about that, everybody. It's just missing one of the key ingredients, which is basically the chicken. Yeah. It really needs a little bit of that action yeah. in here. But again, I can see these ingredients with a breakfast burrito situation. That'd be pretty nice. Wow. Well, I got to say, your mileage may vary when it comes to who makes these for you naturally. I think for the most part, you should be okay, especially if the size of the chicken is as good as it is in the Southwest Crunch. Because I got to say, the bacon ranch variant, a lot to be desired on this one, guys. It really needs a little bit more of everything on the inside. With the exception of the bacon being fairly plentiful, even though it's a little bit overly cooked, halfway burnt, actually, the flavor the smokiness was definitely there so had this one been made correctly i think it would have been a lot better of an experience but overall the southwest crunch for me is i think my favorite out of the two it's really a nice situation and for dollar 99 it's passable for what it is especially out here in southern california with pricing being the way that it is yeah. for fast food what are you going to do though right 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 so if you're asking yourself by now if these queso wraps are going to be worth your time like i said it's going to come down to who makes them for you but you may want to ask to get a little bit of extra of everything on this one just to be on the safe side just saying guys because like i said my experience right now is a little lackluster considering what I got here. Well, this one was barely passable tonight for me, guys. It is what it is with Sonic. Sometimes it's hit or miss like that. So overall, I'm going to have to give the queso wraps, the all-new Bacon Ranch, and the Southwest Crunch just a barely passable 6 out of 10. And like I said, they're a little above average for what they are, but the overall flavor is pretty decent on them. Once you get the flavors in there, they are pretty nice. The combination works pretty well. Again, it's going to come down to who makes them for you naturally. And of course, at $1.99, I'm glad that's as much as they are over here in Southern Cali. Typically, I was expecting the $2.49 or $2.99 range, but considering the quality quality of what I got tonight, a little suspect still. Still pretty tasty for what it is, but like I said, your mileage may vary on who makes these for you. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Sorry, I had an itch on my nose. Sorry about that, everybody. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of these queso wraps over here at Sonic America's Drive-In. Did they look pretty appetizing to you? And if you remember the original crispy tender wraps that I reviewed earlier in the year, I think it was the Hickory Barbecue and the Cheesy Baja, if I'm not mistaken. You're probably seeing that up on your screen here right now. What did you guys think about those flavors compared to these new ones? Which do you personally think are better? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Style Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do, and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and let me take care of these notifications. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know we both post. And share both of our videos to your friends and family members, too. To please, everybody. And on my channel, we are on the road to 9,000 subscribers. 
And sorry about my throat getting clogged up there for a moment. Sorry about that, everybody. My bad. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the three playlists that are on my channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 9,000 subscribers or more on my channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate it. And the link to Peep This Out's original video will be down in the description down below. I just thought I'd let everybody know about that. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya. Thank you